and I am talking here as the national chairman of SCNC. My name is Thomas Mwachan, based in Bermuda. I am giving you a reply on the calls that many people are making for war and promising that guns are going to come from the Middle East and from all over and that the population should prepare itself to go to war. Please, I want to emphasize that we have made these kinds of threats many, many times and nothing has ever happened. The reason is that we don't have any intention for war. The SCNC has no intention for war. We are a peaceful movement and we are calling on all Southern Cameroonians everywhere to adopt the SCNC policy of the force of argument and not the argument of force. There is no way we can win this thing through a war. You don't have guns. You are hiding in America, hiding in Europe, and you are asking for people to, uh, go to obtain guns and go to war here. Syria is in war for how many? Six years now. And the whole country is destroyed. And nobody, nobody has won what they want. Many countries have done so and they have not come out successfully. We make a mistake when we see an, an isolated case is like the case of Southern Sudan and we say that's the way we're going to do it. We are an independent country. We don't need to obtain our freedom by going through war. We get it by debate. Please remember that the Bakasi Peninsula was obtained from Nigeria through the court and that is the way we should do with our own. There are only two ways to do it. Either we go to court and obtain a UN, a UN court decision in favor of our separation from La Republic of Cameroon, or we look for countries that will table our matter before the United Nations General Assembly to obtain a vote that will authorize the United Nations to come back into, uh, into, into the country, into this country, and separate the Southern Cameroon from La Republic. The talk of war is completely rubbish. Whether it comes from Ambazonia or from SCYL, if they are really interested in war, let them come first. They escaped and went abroad because they they didn't want violence. Why are they talking about violence now? Some of them were simply threatened, simply threatened with arrest and detentions for a couple of years or a couple of months, and they went abroad forever. We don't want to hear about war. We want to hear about people acting intelligently to free the country. Remember that what is going on outside now will not free the country. What will free the country is the way forward we are engaged on. We are engaged on taking, we have taken the Republic to the International Court, the same court that separated Bakasi from Nigeria. We will win in that court the way many of our citizens who went there have won. Unfortunately, these citizens, when they, instead of suing for the freedom of the country, they went and sued for financial compensation for themselves. But the SCNC, under my leadership, has taken this country, the UN and Britain, to that court. We are sure to win. We're in the third year now. The decision of the court comes out between four to five years. In the next couple of years the decision will be out it is not late and we will use the decision to obtain countries that will go into the united nations and free us this is the way out it is not by shouting war what the people are doing outside we support it we support the teachers we support the the lawyers we support the trade unions all of them but we ask them to do it peacefully to do it without any recourse to war or violence so that we can obtain our country as it is, not broken into pieces. Do not forget that France is at the Security Council. If you start a war here, they will veto the United Nations from coming out to help you, and they will send guns to La Republic, and the La Republic will use it to smash all of you into pieces, the way the Russians have vetoed any attempt by the United Nations to come out and save Syria. And Syria is now in pieces. I don't want, we don't want, uh, our citizens suffering here in refugee camps for years. Remember the Ugandan case, they suffered for years and they never were free. Remember the Biafran case, they suffered for years and they were never free. Remember the Delta boys, they have suffered for years, they are not free the region. There are so many cases. What about the Katanga case? Are they free? Why are we only...